Director of National Intelligence John Ratcliffe on Tuesday declassified portions of two documents that show that CIA picked up intelligence regarding Hillary Clinton's alleged approval of a campaign to link Donald Trump to Russia's hacking efforts. Ratcliffe declassified portions of taken in 2016 by then CIA director during a meeting with President Obama and his national security advisors regarding Russia's election meddling efforts. The intelligence chief also declassified portions of from the CIA's counterintelligence center sent on September. 7, 2016 to then FBI Director James Comey and Peter Strzok, the top counterintelligence investigator on Crossfire Hurricane. The documents, obtained by the Daily Caller News Foundation, in a letter that Ratcliffe sent to Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham. That letter said that U.S. intelligence gained insight in late July 2016 into Russian intelligence analysis that asserted that Clinton had approved a plan to link Trump to Russia's hacking efforts in order to distract from her use of a private email server. Ratcliffe said in the letter last week that U.S. intelligence agencies were uncertain whether Russian intelligence had fabricated the information about Clinton's authorization of the plan. Democrats accused Ratcliffe last week of spreading Russian disinformation. A spokesman for Clinton, Nick Merrill, that the allegation was baseless bullshit. Close quote. The documents released Tuesday do not provide much clarification about the underlying CIA intelligence. They do confirm that the CIA obtained the intelligence Ratcliffe referred to in his letter. Republicans asserted that the documents raise questions about whether Clinton personally approved the dissemination of a false allegation linking Trump to Russia. Clinton campaign advisers publicly accused Donald Trump of aiding Russia's hacking efforts following the July 22, 2016 release of DNC emails through WikiLeaks. A report from the special counsel's office released last year said there was no evidence that Trump or members of his campaign conspired with Russia to hack and release Democrats' emails. According to Brennan's undated comma, he told President Obama that the intelligence community had picked up evidence that Russians had learned that Clinton personally approved a plan on July 28, 2016 to link Trump to Russia's hacking of the Democrat National Committee. Brennan's refer to intelligence related to Clinton's approval of a proposal from one of her foreign policy advisers to vilify Donald Trump by stirring up a scandal claiming interference by Russian security services. Close quote. While the declassified information is largely repetitive of what Ratcliffe disclosed last week, the September 7, 2016 CIA memo does reveal one detail about the interagency team that investigated Russia's election interference efforts. Per FBI verbal request, CIA provided the below examples of information the Crossfire Hurricane Fusion Cell has gleaned to date, reads an unredacted portion of the memo, which is referred to as a counterintelligence operation led. Close quote. Brennan has testified that he created a so-called fusion cell in July 2016 that consisted of officials from the CIA, FBI and National Security Agency to investigate Russia's election meddling efforts. The memo referred to information related to open quote presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's approval of a plan concerning presidential candidate Donald Trump and Russian hackers hampering elections as a means of distracting the public from her use of a private email server. 
Close quote. Content created by the Daily Caller News Foundation is available without charge to any eligible news publisher that can provide a large audience. For licensing opportunities of our original content, please contact.